Hi guys, so today I'm going to answer a few questions from a few members of the CAMSOC um, just so you, so you can get to know a little bit more about me. My favourite thing to do outside of chemistry, personally I'm a bit of a sport fiend, um, so playing sports in general, generally basketball, football, but also um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Formula One and yeah, I'm involved with the Formula student team here as well now, so that's yeah, it's amazing for me. I had um, some vegetarian sausages with uh, scrambled eggs, baked beans and toast with the usual coffee as well. Um, good balanced breakfast because you need it in research, like you're always running around, believe me. CCI, you get us a great research institute and personally as well I've been exposed to a lot of areas of research that I personally would not have been able to. Um, so in terms of the actual scope as well, yeah, we deal with everything um, with environmental chemistry, green chemistry. Um, so, I've, so I've had the chance to do a lot of exciting projects and also travel as part of that. So yeah, that's the best part of chemistry as well. It's quite dynamic. We have the nicest building. Um, so, so a lot of people see the prospectus and what you see is not really to what you get but with chemistry we're fortunate enough to sort of be based in the main building which is a wonderful building and yeah, half the time you might see Doctor Who being filmed here or Sherlock so it's always exciting. So if I could redo first year um, so one thing I would do is personally I think ask for more help especially in labs because you don't know exactly how much of a, um, a percentage that actually is but as you as you progress you do get better but if I had taken the time to really um, ask for help from the demonstrators and the academic staff I think I would have been a better chemist earlier yeah for my PhD project I definitely have to make some very interesting nanomaterials with the super, super critical anti-solvent precipitation method. So it's where you use CO2 that is basically, basically in a weird phase, it's not quite a liquid, it's not quite a gas, but it's a vapor. It's hard to explain. But um, through that, yeah, I've been able to sort of make some very interesting materials. Um, there's also people before me use that to actually make make a mineral that's only found in four places in the world. So I'm hoping that I can find something very novel, very new with that. Hmm. Um, I'm going to say Italy because yeah, I went there for my um, master's research project last year. So I was based in Bologna, went there with no knowledge of the language, the culture or anything, which is something you shouldn't do, by the way, especially if you're going to live somewhere. But yeah, the people really took me in and I've got some really, really good friends and experiences from that. So yeah, I'll say Italy. Yeah, the first thing I'll say is uh, try have a clear mind of what you want to get from the experience. Because a PhD will test your character um, unless you be dependent solely on yourself so there will be people there who will and should help you but by the end of the day that body of work is yours so you have to somehow try to take ownership um, try also to manage your time and the one thing that you shouldn't do is try to be overwhelmed um, so at first yeah it might seem like a lot but like, just know that over time yeah, you will um, get to grips with whatever it is you're trying to find out but um, first and foremost try to come out uh, try to come out of it trying to be trying to be an independent researcher really my favorite artists artist even has to be Kendrick Lamar um, yeah, it has to be Kendrick Lamar, hands down. If I could have dinner with him, Barack Obama. Um, 
yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd love to kind of see yeah, the kind of man he really is. Sort of, you know, that proper set down. Um, because, yeah, yeah, he's kind of like here. And I think that personally, I'm like here. So I'm hoping I can learn a lot from him and put that in practice in my life, hopefully. Cool guy. So my view on Brexit, I think I've had this with a lot of my friends. Uh, I've had long arguments about it. Um, they know how I feel. I don't think you guys need to, but bottom line, I don't think it's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Cats seem to hate me. So, dogs. Definitely. Ooh. Three places. Okay. Uh, firstly, the SU. They do a good Wednesday night and Saturday night. So you can do both. Um, personally, I'm getting a bit older. So I start so so heading to town more. So I'll say go to Glam. Um, if you want something different, so what's that place by 10 feet tall? Go Also, Undertone. Yeah. Also, also, um, there's a new chemistry bar that's open called The Alchemist. Um, you should pay a visit as well. <laughs> so, my supervisor is a world leader in gold catalysis, so I would say gold. Um, I'm going to please him. Yeah. <laughs> this is hard because I'm a sneakerhead and so I've got a lot of shoes. So I'm trying to pick the one shoe that I'll take with me. A single one. <laughs> Okay, um, so my phone's insured, my Mac's insured, so I wouldn't worry about them. But uh, my Nike Air Max One roundels. So these are shoes that came out for the anniversary, for the 150th anniversary of the Lone Underground. Um, I'm sure, if I can try and get you guys a picture soon, but they are one of my prized possessions, so I'll take those definitely. Ooh, this is hard. <sighs> this is really hard. Can I pick my supervisor? It's just so he watches this and he's like, ah. <laughs> so in the next meeting, we'll be like, thank you, Zach. There's too many sort of pick from, so I'm gonna go with my supervisor and say Graham Hutchins. Leaving catalysis. If I could teleport, that would save me a lot on 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 just travel, trains, planes, uh, coaches, and also it would make sure that I'm on time to everything, which is something I'm working on. If I could sing, I think it'll be a good thing because yeah, a few people in the lab have stopped me from singing in the past. So if I could sing well, yes, that would be the one thing. Can take every opportunity possible you never know where it might land you and personally I think I started doing that more recently and yeah it's paid dividends really so yeah oh that's hard okay so I'm gonna pick someone who is basically of similar stature and maybe just as funny or if not a little bit less I'll go for Kevin Hart <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, um, so I get lazy sometimes, or say if you have a long day in the lab and you want something quick, so I'll generally just cook a chili, just some mints, some uh, frozen veg, red kidney beans, and it's ready within like 20 minutes. Mmm, my go to drink. my mum's watching this, I'm going to say a Coke. <laughs> um, so, so I like very healthy drinks, so I'll say um, probably a Coke. So when I was little, uh, we used to always go to my grandparents, my, yeah, my grandparents' house. Um, so they live in Zimbabwe and it was always 
really surreal being there because it's so different sort of here because you see loads of animals etc. So yeah, I would say being there in the, um, yeah, in the summertime with all my cousins etc. Yeah, great times. Oh, oh you asked the hard questions. <laughs> So when I was younger, uh, um, me and my brother had a PlayStation 1 and we had Colin McRae Rally. I've always wanted that Subaru, some, some people say Subaru Impreza, the blue one you know, with all the gold sponsors on top, like that, that replica will be my dream car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Um, right, so. Um, my favourite pair of socks are actually socks I got from a friend of mine who worked as an ambassador for Gift Gap. So Gift Gap socks, best socks ever. They're green with like a ball. Yeah. The cheese and wine nights were always good. <laughs> um, yeah, I love cheese. I'm not sure about the wine, but I love the cheese part. So I ate a lot of cheese. So my mum might be watching. I can't say cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It used to be Superman, but now it's Black Panther. Yeah, he seems like a really cool guy. Yeah, Black Panther. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So I, so I can do my dad on graduation. Um, I think, yeah. So so he did something like this three years ago. I gave you a baby, and three years later you gave me back a man. I think three years ago I gave you a baby, <laughs> and three years later you gave me a man. So yeah, yeah I can do my dad quite good. So personally. Um, yeah, I've got an idea of where I'd like to be, but, but at the same time, I'm very open to sort of a lot of experiences. So without trying to, uh, to reach out to any recruiters, um, I keep my options very, very open, but I would love to sort of stay within chemistry and science, maybe engineering, because it's taken years and years of training so I can be here that I would love sort of use that and not waste it. So thank you for tuning in. These guys will have a video out soon which, which will be a school tour of Cardiff School of Chemistry and also they'll be introducing the rest of the ChemSoc committee also. So tune in.